easy do you think it is to live a humble life when you are the highest ranked tennis player in the world? In this video, we will be talking about the humble lifestyle of Gael Monfils, further talking about his wife and experience as a track star. Does the last part surprise you? Well, no need to be. To figure this out, just sit back and relax as we bring to you the humble lifestyle of the multi-talented tennis player that is Gaël Monfils. Gaël Monfils is the French tennis player with the highest world ranking and is widely considered to be one of the sport's all-time greats. Monfils is currently ranked number 20 in the world. Furthermore, he is married to Alina Svitolina, who is also a professional tennis player. They made the announcement of their engagement in 2019, and their wedding took place in July of 2021. In May of this year, the power couple shared the news that they would be welcoming a daughter into the world. Before we go any further, let's talk a little bit about the French tennis star himself. On the 1st of September 1986, Monfils was born to father, Rufin Monfils, a former professional football player, and his mother, Sylvette Cartese, who was a nurse. Monfils also has a younger brother whose name is Daryl, and he's a tennis player as well. Unfortunately, the brothers were eliminated in the first round of the US Open in 2012 while playing together. Since that time, the two brothers have not been observed playing on the court together. While growing up, Monfils was an active kid who participated in various sports which included athletics, football, and tennis. However, tennis and athletics were his primary concerns at the time as these were where he put much of his focus. As a young boy, he was recognized as a child prodigy in the sport of athletics, in which he competed for his school and won the French 100-meter championship for the under-14 and under-15 age groups, respectively. Because of how remarkable he was, his coach believed that if he had continued competing in athletics, he could have won the 100-meter championship at the Olympics. This has got us wondering just how good he was at the sport. Because he was forced to choose between tennis and athletics, Gael Monfils had to place a significant amount of his attention on tennis. I guess we can confidently say that he has made the right decision because he has been doing so well in tennis ever since he started playing the sport. Monfils started playing tennis in 2002. He played in the juniors and had an outstanding performance where he won many tournaments and drew much attention to himself. Two years after playing in the juniors, he finally debuted and played at the 2004 Open de Mose, where he won his first ATP title. Around this time, the tournaments he won shone some light on him as he rose high in the sports ranking and people began to notice him. Monfils played incredibly well and won many ATP 500 tournaments, but never snatched a Grand Slam title, even though he made it to the US Open semifinals in 2008 and 2016. As a player, he was enjoyable to watch on the court, but injuries kept pulling him back as he had many stop and start moments in his career. It's good to know that choosing tennis for him is not something he regrets. However, as much as he plays tennis, he is stuck with other things. In his free time, he plays basketball and watches movies and music. This can be seen in how he loves to break dance on the court. He is also proven to be a fan of football and WWE. However, this is what he has to say to those who have asked him to stick to only playing tennis and not doing other things. People sometimes say, you play tennis, so stick to tennis. Yes, I am a good tennis player, but I have hobbies. They want to put us in a box, but for most of us, we can become great at other things as well. Yeah, mon fils, stick it to those things. It'll be nice to see you try them out professionally sometime in the future. Tennis has indeed brought so many goodies to Monfils because of his wife, his businesses, and everything else he has been able to accomplish for himself. For now, let's take a look at the wife of the superstar. Elena Svitolina was born on the 12th of September 1994 to Ukrainian parents, Mikhailo Svitolina, a former wrestler, and Olena Svitolina, a former rower. Her father competed in wrestling, and her mother competed in rowing. Because Alina's brother received a lot of attention while playing tennis, she decided to take up the sport for herself as a way to compete with him. Alina and her family lived in Ukraine throughout Alina's childhood. She first picked up the game when she was five years old, and Sapronov, recognizing her potential, became her sponsor when she was 13 years old. Alina has a total of 16 career titles and has been a professional tennis player for 10 years. She is currently ranked 37th in the world according to the WTA. She reached as high as number 3 in the ranking in 2017, and as a result, she is the first Ukrainian woman in the history of the WTA 
to ever break into the top 10 in the singles competition. We believe that there's still sufficient time for her to win her first Grand Slam title, as is the case with her husband. She has not yet won any Grand Slam titles. Both Alina and Monfils had been competitors in the same tournaments for quite some time, so they were familiar with one another but did not exactly have a strong relationship with one another. In 2018, after Alina had won her last tournament in Paris and was celebrating with her friends, Monfils texted her while she was out with her friends. The text helped bring the couple together, and they've spent more time getting to know each other, which was the start of something new for them. Their courtship lasted only three years before it culminated in a wedding in 2021. Now the couple is expecting their first child, a baby girl which we believe is the primary reason why Alina is taking a step back from tennis to take care of herself in addition to the impending invasion of Ukraine by Russia in 2022. Delving into Monfils' sponsorships and investments, Monfils has multi-million dollar sponsorship deals with different brands. One of his latest is Zartango, the clothing and racket brand partnered with him to make something specifically for the star. On the Artango monfils deal, he says, for me, it's more than just a collaboration, it's about living it 100%. Apart from the Artango deal, he has other sponsorships with Asics, Wilson, and Rocket, and has previously worked with many other brands. Aside from the sponsorships, he owns several Paris restaurants, launched his own brand of vodka, and has a top-selling perfume called Gael Monfils Seduction. All of these have garnered him a net worth of approximately $10 million. All he has done with these brands has allowed him to build a luxurious lifestyle for himself. So where and how does he spend his money? Monfils is known for his love of cars, spending a considerable part of his money on this. His love for cars has made him buy fast cars, and a few of the luxury cars he owns are a Mercedes SLR McLaren, which costs around $381,290, and an Audi R8 V10 Plus car, which costs about $191,000. He also has an eye for good buildings. He lives in Trellix, Switzerland, which is 10 kilometers away from the French border, where he bought a penthouse in 2018. Monfils purchased a penthouse at the Paraiso complex in the East Edgewater area of Miami. The price of the penthouse is a closely guarded secret. Still, houses in the Grand Paraiso typically cost between three and four million dollars, and they have approximately 2,000 square feet in addition to a breathtaking panoramic view that sweeps over Biscayne Bay and the skyline of the city. In addition to everything else, the facilities at the Paraiso include a tennis club, a pro shop, a fitness center, and a spa. The penthouse is incredible. As a result, it serves as the residence for a large number of powerful people and has attracted notable individuals, such as Arantes Sanchez Vicario. Watches are another major expense for Monfils, accounting for a significant portion of his total spending. In an interview that took place in 2018 in Antalya, Turkey, with The Times, Gael stated that he had purchased more than 50 watches. Because of his passion for watches, he was drawn to prestigious watch brands such as Blancpain, Patek Philippe, and Boudamar Piguet. His MB and FLM Thunderdome watch, which retails for 280,000, is his most prized possession. Gael Monfils has always proven time and time again to be a lover of luxurious and eye-catching things. However, he is not someone to show it off and flaunt them to get people's attention, even though it does get our attention. His love for his wife is never in question, coupled with his love for his hobbies. Sticking to tennis has never been an option for him, and he always tries to admit that as much as he can. It would be nice to see him try out other sports, and just maybe, he will be as exceptional in those as he is in the sport of tennis. On the other hand, Monfils and Alina have agreed that in 2021, they will each donate $100 to charity for every ace that they serve in the next two tournaments that they compete in. In addition to that, he took part in a tournament that was hosted by Nicolas Mahou during the lockdown of the 2020 COVID-19, and the proceeds from that tournament were given to the hospital staff.